Paul Jimbroni the third here. Hope you enjoyed your first issue of Clay Target Nation magazine. It's uh, quite special to be part of the of the new magazine here, combining everything. I want to go into a little bit more detail about the article I wrote. Uh, we wrote about the eyes. We talked a lot about how to set up your eyes in the beginning of the shot to what you do during the shot and after the shot. But let's go into a little bit more detail here. First things first, when you set up for any target, you want to make sure that your eyes are up in the target flight path away from your gun. You know, so if you're, for instance, on out here in the middle on two, three, four, five, or six, when you look back, maybe halfway, three quarters of the way, just off the window, whatever it is, we want to make sure those eyes are relaxed and that softer focus. That way the peripheral vision is nice and wide and we can pick up that target streak as quickly as possible. Once you grab a hold of that streak and you start moving and you're tracking the bird, you're then going to shift to that harder focus where you want to look for the front edge of the target, look for where the black rim meets the orange top, look for the leading edge whatever it takes to get your eyes to look at a specific part of the target. And you're going to want to do that right as you're approaching your break zone. So in other words, you don't want to try to get that hard focus right when you first see the flash. You want to make sure that you are in the appropriate break zone to get that hard focus because if you get your hard focus a little too soon, more than likely your eyes will relax back into that softer focus. Then you'll go to, to check the barrel or check the lead, which leads to bad things. So overall, First off, make sure they're relaxed in the softer focus, transition to your hard focus as you approach your break zone, and then once you got the good look, shoot the target, and then I watch the pieces to help my follow through.